A Quiet Place is directed by John Krasinski. Films about a family surviving in this dystopia where these creatures with exceptional hearing have apparently killed everyone and now everything has sort of gone to shit. And the only way to survive is for everyone to pretty much stay quiet. Now, right from the start, the stakes in this film come in at an increasingly alarming rate. Like from the very first shot, everything is just so quiet. Just from the kids like tiptoeing around the marketplace and, and trying their damnedest not to not to drop anything. It's like you don't know why everything um needs to be quiet but but you're on board anyway you know it, i don't know it's, it's something about when you, when you enter a space and everybody's sort of like whispering and tiptoeing and being very careful with their movements and things like that it's like what's going on why do we have to stay so quiet but everybody follows suit anyways it's kind of like that as as you watch the film and i think the intro does does a really good job at just visually showing um just how important it is to stay quiet i mean i'm not gonna spoil what happens but when something happens it's like oh yeah shut the fuck up <laughs> and there's barely any dialogue in it either you know because because everyone is sort of signing you know to communicate so that's how it's another reason you know to stay quiet you, nobody can even speak but how they implemented the the sign language for communication in the film i thought was was just terrific i thought it was just genius now i didn't see this movie in the theater but when i tell you when i tell you how excited i am to see the sequel in a the theater bruh the sound design is what sells it honestly like like the smallest sounds of just inanimate objects and and just like you know the tiny steps of of when people are walking like footsteps and stuff and just rustling of of leaves and things like this like all these things that that nobody can control you know this is all just natural stuff because sound is always going to be here you can't really completely cut out sound you know especially in, in real life and so just keep that in mind and then watching the film you start hearing just these these tiny tiny ass sounds that, that that may not mean much to like the average person but just knowing that there are monsters out there <laughs> that have very exceptional uh uh hearing like gee i was so pent up watching this film like i could not believe i just wanted everybody to just stop moving i just wish everybody just froze for the rest of their lives <laughs> this movie is just so stressful every time i saw these kids i just wanted to strangle their asses because I, I, I just didn't trust them i couldn't trust them i just wanted them all to just listen to the dad listen no matter what he says you saw what happened you, you know what i mean like just stay inside shut the fuck up and don't make a sound and i'll be back you know like i but every time they want to catch an attitude i'm just like do you not know what's out there do you not know what's out there do you and i don't know about you guys but when it's time to be quiet i'm like a ninja okay i am completely silent like that's why i was the bomb at hide and seek when i was a kid you know what i'm saying when it came to playing laser tag and stuff i was always like dominating people in the back because nobody could hear me nobody could hear me i was i was dead serious when it came to being quiet you feel me like <laughs> you know you can uh thank metal gear solid for that that's where i learned my my skills but like in the film when something uh like breaks or falls or something completely on accident you know everybody like i was standing up like he did it he did it it wasn't me he did it you, you get what i'm saying like you're, you're sitting there trying to figure out who did it so you can like like point your finger at the person who is who's gonna be like the cause of your death you get what i'm saying like you did this shit. Man, i was i was i was just so fucking stressed out watching this damn movie <laughs> but let me be fair to, to the kids okay I, I thought the kids were great you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm, i know i'm picking on them a little bit because you know it's just sometimes kids always fuck shit up but you know i thought the kids were were fantastic you know they were they were, they were extremely competent and yeah they made some mistakes here and there but it wasn't like they were dumb choices like they didn't make stupid ass mistakes like you sometimes see in, in some of the horror movies um but you know it, it's just i didn't trust them you know like you can't trust kids to be as competent as you want them to be you know what i mean and they did their part and they they played their parts fine and, and i did enjoy them they didn't annoy me as much as things like that which i can also appreciate 
movie stressed me out. <laughs> the monsters are creepy as hell too. Like they almost look like like aliens, like space aliens or something. And then they have like like their their heads sort of bloom out, like flowers to kind of show, you know, what's going on inside. You know, their, cause their anatomy is, is obviously very grotesque, uh, grotesque and stuff, but, and they're super quick, super quick. Like they move like the flash. They're very swift with everything. And it's like they activated the cheat code to where, you know, at one touch you die. If that makes sense. <laughs> like it's like, whoosh, you're gone. You know, and, and, and it's just, you know, they're very powerful, very powerful creatures, you know, so, you know, I don't, if I was to live in this world, world in real life, um, I would be, uh, uh, shut the fuck up if I was y'all. To me, it, it's been a while since I've been this rattled and this terrified, um, watching the film like this. I mean, it's just such a damn good film. And, and that reminds me, props to John Krasinski on his directing fucking amazing job with this man and i and i think this is his debut if i uh if i can remember correctly but raw fucking bow man like this this film had me at the edge of my damn seat like my butt was like literally <laughs> right on that line of the edge right there man like sore to the bone man i was just so impressed with how the script was able to you know gather all these concepts and ideas and like pretty much you know the way he executed it the way that is the most difficult in film which is you know showing and not telling and the set pieces was just so innovative with you know their their little home alone house you know the way it's all you know it's like they got booby traps all over the place and things like that and these little compartments like it was i was i was just floored i was just like wow this is such a creative film and that third act man whoo it brought me so much anxiety i had to go to therapy so i'm going to give it a 9.75 out of 10. fucking blast of a movie man really good job and this is the perfect rivalry to you know pin this movie up against the conjuring movie you know because those movies are terrifying as fuck too the main films though you know not like conjuring one two and three not the spin off those are those are shit so that's my review on the quiet place hope you guys enjoyed that if you like this video hit that like button and if you love this video hit subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video okay peace